This is Left Side of the Brain. Do us a favor, go ahead and hit that likes button, hit the subscribe button. Today we have a very special broadcast. We're going to be talking about the new weird science in the world, the latest news feed in the science community. Now, if, if this is your first time on this channel, you probably don't have any idea about the things that we discuss. But one of the things that we speak about is humans who, who are actually animals, but they just appear like they are humans on the outside. Now, on this channel, we back up everything that we say. I never say anything that I can't back up. And this particular video is in accordance to us, you know, staying on that train of backing up everything that we say. Now, remember, we say that you have humans in this world who are actually animals, but they only appear to be human on the outside. Now, after I read this article, I'm going to bring everything together and it will be liquid clear to you exactly what we say and this article is going to make so much sense so let's begin okay um this is a article from new scientists as you see in the heading this is from live science.com and exclusive two pigs engineered to have monkey cells born in China. As you see, that's the pig that has the uh, monkey cells injected into it. But let's continue to read. Two piglets recently born in China look like average swine on the outside, but on the inside, they are a very small part monkey. Now, I want you to remember that first paragraph. Two piglets recently born in China look like average swine on the outside but on the inside they are a very small part monkey remember that because that's very key a team of researchers generated the pig primate creatures by injecting monkey stem cells into fertilized pig embryos and then implanting them into surrogate sows according to a piece by new scientists two of the resulting piglets developed into interspecies animals known as chimeras i want you to remember that that word interspecies and a lot of you can already see the the dots connecting so i want you to rem remember that first paragraph and interspecies two of the resulting piglet piglets developed into interspecies animals known as chimeras meaning that they contain dna from two distinct individuals in this case a pig and a monkey this is the first report of a full term pig monkey chimeras co-author co tange high a researcher at the state um forgive me if i uh, didn't pronounce that. It's a Chinese word. So, a researcher, a researcher at the State Key Laboratory of Stem Cell and Reproductive Biology in Beijing, told New Scientist. Eventually, Hai and his colleagues aimed to grow human organs in animals for use in transplant procedures. For now, the team plans to stick with monkey cells as developing human animal chimeras or chimeras presents a slew of ethical issues so they saying this is a uh, this is presenting ethical issues like creating these hybrid animals the authors noted in a report published November 28th in the journal protein and cell to create pig primate chimeras high and his co-authors first grew cells from cynomogus monkeys 
and that's a Latin word, I won't even try to pronounce that in parentheses, in lab dishes. The team then altered the cell's DNA by inserting instructions to build a fluorescent protein which caused the cells to glow a bright green. Sound like some radiation Ninja Turtle stuff. These luminescent cells gave rise to equally radiant embryonic stem cells, which the researchers then injected into prepared pig embryos. These glowing spots allowed the researchers to track the monkey cells as the embryos grew into piglets. Now, let's, let's talk about this. Now, do y'all believe me? Now when I say that you have humans who are really animals but appear human on the outside. Now you are seeing the very thing taking place in science. Remember I told you to keep the first paragraph in mind. Because this is the exact thing that they are doing, creating in front of you real time. Let's just say, for instance, we were pigs, right? Let's just say we were pigs, but we had the same kind of human intelligence. Now, let's just say I was one of the pigs telling you that some of these pigs are really monkeys on the inside but they look like pigs on the outside do y'all get what i'm saying did you catch it imagine if we were pigs but i'm left side of the brain but i'm a pig you a pig and i'm telling you as the pig left side of the brain that some of these pigs around you are not what you think they are they actually have monkey stem cells inside of them how many of the pigs would actually believe that not many right so in the same regard that's the type of thing i've told you on this channel that some of these humans that you see around you are not what you think they are just because they look that way on the outside it doesn't mean anything just like this article is telling you you have pigs who have been injected with monkey dna now, what do we always say on this channel? What do we say a soul is? I'll give you three seconds. That's right. You got it right. A soul is a collection of information. So basically, what these scientists did, they put a collection of information, DNA, that's all it is, into these pigs. So now you have pigs walking around who look like pigs on the outside but the only but on the inside there's something totally different and that's the exact thing that i've been telling you on this channel that some of these people that you see around you they are not what you think they are they have different cellular makeup than we do and this is not nothing that's that's far-fetched or I'm overreaching or stretching the imagination. No, this is not a metaphor. This is literal. All of this, all of these things that we speak about, it goes back to science. When we speak about the time of the great falling away and some of us retaining that soul information, that's what makes you a human. But most of these people, they don't have that soul information. And a lot of these people, they have mutated into something totally different. Though they possess some of the characteristics and the outward appearance of a human, they have been programmed totally different and they lack the soul information. That's what creates that divide between us and them. We have that soul information they don't have it and i also believe that um i used to reject like evolution i don't believe that we evolved from monkeys but i do believe that some of these people on this planet 
they are basically an ape type hybrid almost. Now, this is some new research that I'm getting into, so I don't want to say anything definite. When I really get it more down pat, I will unpack it for you totally. But I am a uh, firm believer that a lot of these people that you see on this planet, they are a different species type that's close enough to mate with the human, with the soul. Do y'all get what I'm saying? They close enough, they just close enough, just like that monkey um, DNA was close enough because everything in nature shares a certain amount of DNA. So that's why those scientists were able to inject those uh, stem cells into those pigs. So likewise, there are humans on this planet who have just enough similarity in their DNA to where they can splice into us where you can actually get pregnant by them do y'all get what i'm saying like this stuff is real none of this stuff that um i speak about on this channel this is not no fantasy so if you got that in your mind don't even watch these videos this left side of the brain channel this is no fantasy this is no we just wasting time no this stuff is real and i'm just showing you this article so you can see a real-time example and to show you that these people are not playing out here and that's why you know that's why you have to stay up on the latest um, science so you can see what they are doing you see because one of the purposes of reading is to find out what is the next plot that these people are trying to do because everything they do is a secret war. You have to you have to stay, you know, you have to stay up on the latest current events in the science community. That's why me, I always read like science journals. You got to keep up with the latest discoveries and things because you need to know what they are doing because what they do will ultimately affect you. So I'm just doing this, you know, video to let you all know, man, that this thing is real. This thing is real. And um, this thing is real that we up against. This is not a uh, this is not a joke. You see what I'm saying? This is not a joke. This is real. Um, so just tell me what you think in the um, comments section. Um, you can add to it. Uh, you got any questions, anything you would like to say to edify the commentary feel free to do so in the comment section below this video and um until we do this again this is left side of the brain signing out